So we're going to check out Garage Band. Um, you're not going to be able to hear anything, but trust me, I'm playing some horrible sounding chords because I'm not a very good piano player. Um, you can play really hard or softly, and it notices that. Um, we're in the keyboard and instruments mode right now, so if I click on Grand Piano, all of a sudden I can switch to uh, Clav, which is pretty cool. Or I can move to uh, an organ. And obviously uh, brings up organ controls. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Uh, if you want to do a completely different type of instrument, you tap on the instruments button up here, and uh, you know you can, now you have a virtual drum kit in front of you. But you can sort of just barely hear it here. Not really. Um, let's look at some of the amps. Or yeah. So, different kinds of amps, and I believe you can actually plug your guitar into the uh, iPad and use one of these simulated amplifiers. You can choose Britpop or Tweed Rhythm. Pretty cool, but you can also play virtual instruments. And uh, I believe they are smart instruments that kind of do all the work for you. Let's check out the smart bass. Um, Can you go ahead and um, Yeah. Again, hard to hear in here, but basically it's hard to make uh, a horrible noise with these instruments. It does most of the work for you, so if you just want to pull around and you're not a musician, you can do that in GarageBand. Go to the My Songs section, and all of a sudden you're looking at uh, a multi-track setup that you can zoom in on, look at specific uh, audio files, and you can do up to eight tracks on the iPad. And when you're finished, you can email an AAC file of the track to uh, one of your friends, or you can put it in iTunes as well.